The show of faith during the Feast of the Black Nazarene has always amazed outsiders and stumped people of other religions. What do experts think? Mayan Los Baños explains. The Feast of the Black Nazarene, particularly the Traslacion, is regarded as a unique religious activity in the country compared to the many religious feasts Filipinos celebrate every year. Sociologist Brother Clifford Zorita says this is because of all the religious feasts in the country, only Traslacion devotees undertake physical sacrifice, their way of symbolizing the suffering of Jesus Christ as He carried the heavy cross. Kasi minsan sabi ng mga tao, iba yung, oo, oh, magadasal ako, iba yung ato. Pero iba yung sacrifice For them, the physical struggle to be able to accomplish itong gaitong klaseng mga panata nila is part of the whole process kanila. Kasi gusto nila, may, may konting sacrifice hindi lang basta-basta. Solita said there are different reasons why devotees participate in the Feast of the Black Nazarene, despite the sacrifices of joining the Traslacion. Some devotees swear receiving miracles from the Black Nazarene. Ang panata para sa mga Pilipino, ay isang pangako. Pangako na binitawan mo kasi, number one, meron kang uh, na, na, meron ka naranasan na milagro o mga pangyayari sa buhay mo na gusto mo magpasalamat. But Dr. Vivencio Baliano, an expert in sociology of religion, said studies show that there are some who participate in the annual translation only for personal and material wishes. There's a pattern that many of their intentions is really for material healing or kind of petition for something material, health, education. So it seems yung spiritual motivation mukhang nawawala. Yan nga, kulang kasi ng katisismo na dapat i-stress na ang mas malaga hindi yung ano, physical healing or salvation. Yung spiritual salvation which is to be practiced in your daily life. Baliano also believes it is not enough for devotees to focus on touching the image of the Black Nazarene. He says what is more important is the teachings of the Church about their faith. In a stress kasi yung magical aspect of salvation, material aspect. Na pag hinawakan ka, you will be healed, you, your wish will be granted, your petition. Yun ang dapat um, unti-unting ano eh, bawasan. The National Director of Philippine Council of Evangelical Churches, Bishop Noel Pantoja, meanwhile assures that those who do not participate in the festivities need not worry. That God is fair in giving His blessing and forgiveness to His children whether they join the translation or not. Mas mapalad ba yung nakahipo doon? Eh, ang mga nakakatouch at yung nakakapahid ng panyo. I believe it's a disobedience to the Word of God. Doon pa lang sa thou shall not uh, bow down, thou shall not uh, worship. And even the uh, creating uh, graven images. The Catholic Church insists that devotees do not necessarily worship the image of Jesus Christ, but the Lord Himself represented by these images. Leaders of the Church say faith should not rest solely on religious celebrations like the Traslacion. They say what is more important is how we live our faith day by day, moment by moment. Reporting for News 5, Me and Los Baños, we are One News.